alone. So here we go with Tim on CNBC. He says there's a lot of short sellers who are borrowing stock that they didn't have. Hmm. Now a lot of us apes have been hodling with diamond hands for a long time and we know this is coming. And we've known that the karma is going to come back to slap the hedgies, give them wedgies for screwing over the retail investors for too long. We know this is a movement. We know all about the naked shorts and we understand that if we hodl, we will win. But what we didn't know is that we had Melissa Lee, a secret undercover ape, working for CNBC the whole time, baby. And there she was on live TV talking about the naked shorts. Woo, if that didn't get your goat going about this next week, AMC to the moon, this ain't financial advice, but baby, we're coming for the hedgies. Did you miss out on AMC today? If so, I'm gonna show you how to find stocks before they blow up. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to finviz.com. Once you're on the website, click the screener tab, then click on all. Now we're just gonna change three filters. The first one is relative volume over five. The second one is current volume over five million. And the third one is beta over one. Now scroll down to the results and filter the volume from highest to lowest. And would you look at that? AMC is number one. Good luck. Matt, you really think AMC is more valuable than Nike and Netflix? It's not about how valuable the company is. Do you know what the float of AMC is? No, what's that? So there's 448 million shares released to the public. But the day isn't even over yet and we've already traded 546 million shares. Okay, what's that mean? Basically, there's millions of synthetic shares that have to be bought back. Okay, so why don't they just buy them back? They will buy them back from us. But if the retail shareholders are savage and we hold, the price is going to go up. So does that make sense? Now, if you're holding AMC, check this out. So there is a threshold list in which securities that fail to deliver are being put on the list. And as you can see, AMC is one of them. So AMC was being put on June 25th, 2021. And if you don't know what fail to deliver means, I'm going to explain that to you. So a failure to deliver is a situation where one party in a trading contract does not deliver on their obligation. So it simply means a submitted purchase did not execute or go through. So what causes failure to deliver? There are two reasons which causes failure to deliver. So the first one is a buyer not having enough money to pay for the transaction, which is not the case for AMC. So the case for AMC is number two. A seller or short position does not own all or any of the underlying assets, meaning they cannot make the delivery. And because of this, clearing houses cannot process the orders due to shorts or hedge funds not having possession of those assets. Like I said in one of my AMC videos, I told you guys that there's been naked shorting going down for AMC. And these short sellers and hedge funds, they create synthetic shares and they use it to drive the price of AMC down. And as you can see from the list, AMC has been on failure to deliver for about 6 days now, starting from June 25th. And I'm going to tell you guys what's going to happen when they fail to deliver. So according to SEC, if you fail to deliver for a period of 13 days, you'll be forced to cover. And right now, AMC has failed to deliver for about 6 days. So if you're still holding AMC, let me know in the comment section. And also make sure you follow me for more updates on AMC and join my free Discord on my bio. Peace. Yo, Stock Talk got an opportunity for you. So as you know, I'm a long-term investor, but I sort of broke the trend on this one because it's too juicy to pass up. This opportunity is AMC. As you can see, I bought a very small position into AMC. Cost basis is right around $45. So like always, it's not financial advice, but I'm just gonna break down my thought process and how I came to the conclusion to invest a little bit of money into AMC. Now I use Ortex database to figure out the short interest trends. As we know, AMC definitely started to squeeze, but in my opinion, we're not done yet. Now looking at the trends on Ortex, found out that the short interest actually dipped about five, six percent. This means that some of the shorts cover their positions. And whenever this happens, you have to ask yourself, why would they cover? And I think I found the answer. AMC is making a bull flag. It broke down below the flag. Now it's breaking above it. Now we're not in the clear yet, and I'm gonna be watching this very closely, but if we break above the $60 mark, which I think we will, AMC could make another historic run. I think the shorts were nervous. If you don't know where the short squeeze is, let me explain it to you. My man dropped a gem in here in my Discord to make it so much easier to understand. But let's say the cost of five bananas is $10. The one ape has five bananas. A snake is going to come and ask to borrow those five bananas. The snake takes the bananas and sells them, thinking that the price is going to go down. And the snake will be able to just buy the bananas back later at a shorter price. And just keep the profit and give the ape back his bananas. So what's going on now, us, the group of apes, notice that the snakes are out here just finessing us. So 
what we're doing is we're buying up all the bananas because of supply and demand the price of bananas are going to go up but when it's time for the snakes to return those bananas the price is already way too high they have to buy it back no matter what so when it's time for them to buy again they're just making the price go even higher than what it was for when they sold it for so instead of the snakes taking money from us we're taking money from them that's why everybody keeps saying keep buying keep holding it is looking good but i think that we're just the tip of the iceberg here my understanding is that a lot of institutions are getting in on this because they can see that this short squeeze is getting ready to pop off also my understanding is that the hedge funds who have so many shares shorted are going to attempt psychological warfare on you and me they've bought up a lot of shares and at some point when it gets to whatever level they're going to dump them all to make the bottom drop out and give everybody the sense that the short squeeze is over and try to get a bunch of people out get the price to drop i don't know if that's accurate or not that's just information that i've picked up along the way but i could easily see the price getting to anywhere from two to three hundred maybe even five hundred dollars and if if everything fell in place is the potential that it could get up to a thousand dollars i think they're the potential's there but everybody has to do their part for that to happen